What is your Mount Rushmore when you think about the linebackers that have played here at Ohio State? Uh, a lot to choose from. Uh, I'll go with you. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that, that's, that's a pretty easy one to start. Whenever they said that you took the job, uh, they read all of your accolades, and it was uh, pretty ridiculous. So you were, you were doing pretty good while you were here. Uh, I'll go with uh, Tom Cousineau, yeah. if, that's, if I pronounced it right. Yeah, Coos. Uh, yeah, number one overall pick, so he was doing something right while he was, he was doing, here. Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, I'll go with Shazier. I feel like he kind of modernized the position. He was really sideline to sideline. Not the biggest guy, but, I mean, he could still thump you. No doubt. And then uh, just recency bias, I'll go with uh, Tommy. Tommy! Yeah, Tommy, Put Tommy I mean, yeah, on I mean, the I, I live with the guy, so, I mean, I have to. I oh, mean, my god. Playing next to him is uh, fun as hell. It's just a great time being around yeah. him. So, yeah, I'll, I'll put him up there. That's awesome. Well, for one, I'm humbled that you would include me on there. You know, for me, it's funny is I have coups on mine as well. It was tough. I wrestled with Shazier because I believe that you're absolutely right. Like Ryan, if you're going to mold a linebacker for today's game, even still, Ryan's ability to go sideline to sideline was, was pretty special. I'm going to go with Gratishar. So I have coups, Randy Gratishar. Now, when Woody Hayes calls you the best linebacker he ever coached that's and what he has got to mean something <laughs> yeah, right mean so something. he was an all pro with the broncos and just an absolute legend and then i'm going with spielman it's funny like when you play at ohio state the problem is is that like there are names of guys that you're like where do we put them and you don't want to offend anybody and be like well you're not on the list but like spiels to me is on it and then the last one and this is probably a bias like you have a bias with tommy because you play with them but it's aj hawk he was one of my honorable uh, yeah. yeah, and so AJ, you can put AJ on yours instead of me. You can take me off and put AJ on there. I'll but gladly do that. <laughs> so <laughs> those are my four. So Kuz, Gratishar, Spielman, Hawk. So I always try to think of like, okay, what's realistic? And having been in your shoes, mm -hmm. I, I try to do that. But has that been the case so far? I know it's only been a spring ball, but has that been the case? Where, or is, are the, has there been anything where I've said and you're like, oh, you know, Coach James is talking of his, you know. I mean, uh, s some of it, I mean, it seems hard because, I mean, just, the fact that you were able to do it doesn't mean that everyone can. You were kind of an exception for a lot of people. But I mean, uh, a lot of what you say just has more gravity to it naturally because like we know as a group that you've been there, you've gone through it, you've gone through all the struggles that we have. So it just has more gravity, just means a lot more to us. I love our other coach, Coy. I love Coy, shout out to Coy. Yeah. yeah coach Knowles, all of them. You're just a little more just like football savvy as far as like do this with your hands, like get off this block this way. And we just know like we can really trust it because like you've done it, like you've gone through all that stuff stuff you've gone through being put on your here and there it happens yeah it, football's it, it, hard it, it happens to everyone <laughs> football's real hard but i mean uh it just means more that you've really gone through the struggles that we've gone through and what's funny about that is i think every football player has this right like how can we get that much better mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah. because you have a skill set that is unique to steel chambers there's no other you know what i mean like you are a different player than tommy eichenberg yeah. and then cj does that mean that it's better work no it's just different mm -hmm. and so how can we maximize and, and maximize your strengths but also some of the things that need improvement on, because we all have stuff. I think it's that's been the exciting thing for me. Mm -hmm. And I love the feedback from you guys. That's why I always try to ask you, like, if there's ever a drill that isn't, you know, like, I don't want to waste your time. Because mm -hmm. we only got so much time out there. I think that's been at least the exciting thing for me is trying to think back of, can this guy make this play? Steel can maybe make this play, but player X, I won't mm -hmm. say any names, <laughs> can't make this play, you know? But yeah. And you have to coach everybody a little bit tailored to their own personality and to their own skill set but i think he did a good job with that like tailoring everyone in a certain way but then at the same time just like giving us like the base fundamentals of football like everyone's got their own style of game everyone plays a certain way but at the end of the day football it is like a fundamental game with just like basics that everyone has to know just like mentality for our position hands stuff like that so being able to tailor everyone differently but at the same time still like teaching and preaching all those like just basic fundamentals that you need as a linebacker. I think that's something that you've really helped us with. So uh, I've, I've been here for a few years, you could say, and I mean, you've, you've been in here, uh, you left, and then now you're back. So I mean, just for you, just having seen what it was then, what it is now, is there any change in like what tradition here really is to you? To me, like the tradition is like, there's just a standard of excellence. I don't even know how to really put it in the words, but like when you walk in the building, there is a standard, and Coach Day has referenced it. Like, you got to beat the rival, and then you got to win every other game. And that's real. Like, I played a part of, you know, four really good football teams, fell short in two national championships. And guess what? Nobody cares because the standard is national titles. And that's what you want as a competitor. You want to be challenged. That's why I wanted to come here. I wanted to be challenged day in, day out. 
by the best football players in the nation so that I could accomplish my dream of playing in the NFL. I feel like you're always striving for You're the always striving. So you never and then even when I was a junior and senior, it was like, it's impossible not to hear who they're recruiting. Mm -hmm. And so you're like, oh, the fan base is excited about four star, five star player X. Mm -hmm. All right, like, and it was motivation. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you were constantly being, you know, the iron sharpens iron, it's real. You were constantly being pushed. And then you look, you know, in the DB room, we, and I had Malcolm Jenkins who, whenever I felt like, oh man, am I gonna really push this workout? Like Malcolm was there in my ear pushing us along. It was like, there was constantly just this striving and this chase for greatness. And so when I think of tradition, it's like, it's a standard. It's an unspoken standard of what it means to be a Buckeye, what it means to represent the block O wherever you go. You know, everyone talks about today's athletes are different. Like everyone that's in this team room still, they wanna to be told the truth. Mm -hmm. They wanna be coached because they're trying to reach their dreams. That's the same thing we had. We just didn't have Twitter, you know, yeah. <laughs> Facebook was just starting. You have no idea, you had to have a college email address. When I was in school, mm -hmm. I'm dating myself still, <laughs> but I had to have a college email to even log into Facebook. And, yeah, but- I don't even have a Facebook. Yeah, I, don't I don't either, I don't anymore either. I don't anymore either. But every kid, I still believe, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I still believe every kid just still wants to be coached hard. Mm -hmm. They want to be told the truth and they just want to feel like they're getting better and they're moving towards a certain goal. But as far as the standard, the tradition, I guess when I think of tradition here, I think the people who have come through here set such a high standard that I was always trying to uphold that standard. And to be honest, from being being back, I feel you guys do the same thing. Yeah, I mean, we try to. I mean, we're, we're on the shoulders of giants here. We're just trying to do what you guys did, maybe even do it better. But yeah, I mean, um, for me, I have a little softer answer, some would say. I mean, I agree with everything you yeah. said, but I mean, it's really just the people and I think yeah. The people's really just what, what pushes us forward, really, through all that tradition, like everything, like plus two, A to B. Because, I mean, you need to rely on the guys next to you if you 100%. really want to do that. And, I mean, just me personally, like Tommy, Cade, Cody, Mitchell, I mean, those guys, like, I would die for those guys. So just being able to, like, try not to get emotional, or just being able to, like, share the field with them and just knowing, like, I could really count on them. It's just, I don't know. Because, I mean, it's a lonely world sometimes. It is, man. Game of football is a lonely world. So we're just caught up in everything you're doing on a day-to-day basis. But I mean, just having those guys, it's, uh, it's really special. Well, it's the brotherhood. And those yeah. friendships will stick with you yeah. because it's the same friendships that I had from guys that I played with. Mm -hmm. It's golfing at the former players outing uh, a couple weeks ago. And it's like I was right back freshman year in the locker room with Schlegel, Carpenter, and Hawk. It's crazy. I mean, like these are like, we grow such connection with these guys. Like these are like going to be like the best man at your wedding. You're going to see these guys all through our life. You're going to die with these guys. It's just, I don't know. It's crazy now actually thinking about it in this interview. It's, it's, <laughs> it's real. Yeah, like yeah, that's, it's, you know, it, like it that's. That we were at a bonfire and like we were just going around just talking about like some of the best times uh, earlier uh, last week. And I mean, it, it got emotional, but it just, it means a lot that you can share this, these memories with these guys. Yeah. And I mean, that's why, you know, on the slogan, the people, the tradition, the excellence, the culture that is Ohio State, it is it is the people. I agree with you 100% because it's really hard to put into words. It really is. Like we, we can try all we want, but unless you're a part of that family and you're a part of Buckeye Nation, every little thing you're right, it's just knowing you have each other's backs. That's, just that's life. What, that's what makes it easier because I mean, everyone can have their own opinion like looking in, but then like whenever like you're in this room right here, yeah. like you can really trust all the guys that you're around. And it's hard. It is. It's hard when you're in this room sometimes. It really and you is. got, no matter what loss you have, and all you got is your boys, they have your back. And you just got to put your head down and keep grinding and stick, you know, with it. But that's real. It can be a lot. And I don't think people really understand that. And, you know, when obviously we wouldn't be complaining, but your brothers would help stand you up. Uh, great talk, as always. Love talking to you. Uh, excited for this year. It's gonna be a fun season. I uh, can't wait to get after it. Man, look, it, it's been a it's been a blessing. Obviously, working with you in the spring. I can't wait for this summer, and then obviously, when uh, when it all matters in the fall. But I appreciate you helping me out coming in. You know, it's always weird when you're coming back in and you're, you know, the new guy. Just, so trying, to get, just trying to get used to things. You did great. Oh, thank you. Did you, a great man. job. Appreciate it. Of course. All right. Bring it in. Men hug. Oh yeah, bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs>